Closer to home, a safety warning is being issued tonight after a man posing as a home buyer tries to lure female realtors out late at night. We first broke this story new at six, but since then, Brittany McDonald has been working to get new information on what overall, Brittany, sounds like a creepy situation. Kurt, it is pretty creepy for several reasons. These calls have been coming into several realtors back to back in the same office, but also spanning offices across Virginia. And this caller always asks for the same thing that they meet him out late at night in remote locations, often places they don't even cover, and he always wants to meet right away. The calls have been coming in for the past week. The same caller would call several women in the same office in fairly um, quick order. With the same suspicious requests. He began to ask and was very persistent that they show their listings to him late at night. When they asked if they, he could meet them at their office before meeting at the listing, he absolutely refused to do that. The Virginia Association of Realtors sent out an alert to all of their members after agents from across the Commonwealth started getting the same calls. This is someone, to our knowledge, has been trolling for realtors all the way from the North Carolina border up into our territory. Realtors haven't been able to identify this guy because every time he calls, his number's blocked. With a number of red flags, the agents use their instincts and refuse to meet him. They are vulnerable because they do just routinely encounter people they don't know. Richmond Association of Realtors Laura Lafayette says while agents often rely on their instincts, they also have thorough safety training. We really stress getting to know your client before you put them in your car or show them your properties. She says realtors are told be between your client and the door. Have a code word or phrase if you're not comfortable and use it in a phone call back to the office. And always tell someone where you're going and when you should be back. Now, law enforcement has been contact, contacted, and to take it a step further, the Virginia Association of Realtors is in the midst of trying to pass a bill in the General Assembly that would make any harm towards a realtor a felony on top of any additional charges in that crime. On your side in Richmond, Brittany McDonald, NBC 12.